हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अरिंदम मुखोपाध्याय एंड वेलकम बैक टू ऑर्थो इम्प्लांट्स फॉर लाइफ आवर टुडे डिस्कशन इज प्रोक्सिमल ह्यूमरस फ्रैक्चर एंड इट्स फिक्सेशन विथ फिलोस्टाइप प्लेट सो लेट्स जंप इनटू द वीडियो to start with the part of the humerus connected to the shoulder is called proximal humerus and the part connected to the elbow is called distal humerus today we will talk about proximal humerus fracture and its fixation phyllos or proximal humerus internal locking system is used in case of a proximal humerus fracture in case of a fracture the phyllos plate is fixed in this region as shown in the diagram now coming to the fixation part these small holes on the side of the plate are for k wires two k wires are passed through these two holes on the side of this plate and one below will make sure the plate stays static and does not move much from the fracture site once the plate is static we can start the procedure of fixing it with screws non locking screw can be used in the shaft region of this plate for that we have to use a 2.7 mm drill bit and drill through the non locking hole after drilling bone tap is used to tap and clear the entrance of the screw and then the non locking screw is fixed in the shaft region once the screw is fixed the k wire in the distal part of the plate is removed as the screw has already fixed the plate to the bone To fix the proximal part of this plate with a bone, locking screw is used. Non-locking screw is not advised to use to fix the proximal part. In order to do that, first we have to attach the drill sleeve in the locking hole of the plate and then drill through the sleeve. After drilling, as per the surgeon's decision and request, either locking cancellus or a locking screw is used to fix the plate the screws should be provided to the doctor according to his request it is totally surgeon's decision which type of screw should be used for the surgery so if the surgeon asks for a locking screw locking screw will be given to him and the plate will be fixed with a locking screw only once the screw is fixed in the plate repeat the same process to attach any other locking screw in the proximal part once the screws are attached and the plate is held against the fracture site the k wire has to be removed as soon as possible because once the screws are tightened and the plate gets attached to the bone it can actually bend the k wire which can be harmful for the patient so once the plate is stable remove all the k wires from the plate and thereafter as per surgeon's demand we will have to provide all the screws and fix it accordingly whenever a locking screw is needed to be fixed it should be done through the drill sleeve there is no option for any cancellus screw in the shaft region of the plate so in case we need to fix a locking screw in the shaft region locking cortical screw is used once this is done that concludes the fixation process in this case we have used a four hole plate but the surgeon will call on how many screws 
are needed to be fixed. It can be 3 or 4. That will be according to the surgeon. Now this is called a fellows jig. The function of the jig is to guide the screws in the right direction. It is fully radiolucent. This device is not available from all implant companies. Here as you can see the zig will be guiding you for any insertion of K wire or screws. There are slots provided on the surface of the jig. In order to fix a screw using Philo's jig, first protection sleeve will be attached on it and then drill sleeve will be placed in it through which the drilling will be done. Once the drilling is done, drill sleeve will be removed and the screw will be attached through this protection sleeve and jig and it will guide the screw into the proper direction. So this is the function of Philo's jig. This is how typically a Philo's plate looks after the fixation. And as already explained, it is totally radiolucent, so there will be no issues or obstruction in watching the plate through the C-arm, which means it is practically invisible through the C-arm. So that is it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, please like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any query, comment in the comment box. To know more about the career prospects in orthopedic implant industry, click the link given below in the description. Thank you. See you in our next video.